over Vietnam. I, 320. And I hear the rush of that VK-1A engine right now. Look for the flickering afterburner as lifting off directly in front of you, ladies and gentlemen, in the red bull, MiG-17F, Mr. Bill Reisman. Not the MIG maneuver, but that one where you just tense all your muscles and you keep the blood in your head. Woo. I have to do that sometimes. Can I tell you something funny? <laughs> you know Max, our rep... Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a high power for the MIG-17, incidentally, is representative of the first MIG-17 team that flew in Russia. A team of four of these jets flew together. Both Bill modified rather heftily with that beautiful ring. You know that belly on. There it is. And you can see the flickering red flame from the afterburner there as Bill rolls it completely over. If there wasn't skin on the airplane, it looks like he's on all engine and burner, of course. And this uh, afterburner is. Hey, wait. They say a red bull gets you wings. This was Zoom and Boom. There's that flickering octopus of flame once again over the back of the Red Bull jet. Just like the big here, right. three cannons on the nose, the bubble canopy. Which means you can see 360 around jam. Wow, he's got a little speed there. These things are all hand built. There's no fuel in the wings, so if they take a hit, they'd still fly, and we were just dumbfounded. They didn't smoke, Gordon. They were very, very nimble. I mean, if you got behind one of them, they were like almost as nine from the start. The airplane is very, very well constructed and extremely heavy duty in terms of its landing gear. Um, the airplane were actually was designed to operate from rough or unimproved fields. In other words, they could actually take this off from the grass and in front you actually see a... More time in a make than any American, or any American pilot that is. And I gotta tell you, that's something because he's only going up 15 minutes at a time. They don't have a lot of fuel. I fly around all of his junk, the smoke generators and the pyro that we do and all that. He says he's glad he never found one of those things in the sky when he was up looking for it. A very, very capable adversary. Yeah, he said what he eaten him for lunch. Flaps down, gear down, speed brakes out, a little slow roll there. You just can't keep this thing down. They don't break, you guys. Stop. 